okay people? Welcome to Hawkeye's Tales and Trails. Hawkeye is cruising around to find out what is really going on in the post-COVID pandemic era. That is what Hawkeye's Tales and Trails is all about. First, Hawkeye wants to give condolences to the people massacred last week for what seems to be another pandemic is mass shootings. We want to praise hero, Brandon Say, who took down a shooter after he killed 11 people at the Star Dance Studio in Monterey Park, California. This mass shooting phenomenon has got to stop. Come on people. Love one another. Let's live in peace. Going around and killing innocent people is not acceptable and does not resolve anything. Stop it. Okay? Now back to the embodiment of this episode. Episode 137 is a re-edited copy of Episode 7 of Hawkeye's Tales and Trails. It is about trouble of a different kind and it was originally recorded on May 30th of 2020. Notice the beaches are empty in the video? It was due to the COVID shutdown. Please click on the black cat on the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to Hawkeye's Tales and Trails. It is free. No credit card needed. Please click like. Check out Hawkeye's Hangout. Hawkeye. Hey, welcome again to Hawkeye's Hangout. Our most recent trip uh, was from home to Mescal Valley, California, uh, westbound into Ventura. You know, we heard that the beaches and campgrounds and all that or parks were going to be open, but no, nah, that wasn't the case. Though there were certain stretches where you could stop for, you know, and park for a while and go to the water, uh, but there was no overnight parking anywhere. On the coast, southbound through Oxnard, uh, Port Wyeme before Oxnard, and uh, eventually past Point Magoo and drove along the coast till we got into Malibu, where we went to Paradise Cove. Roberts is in next. These stories with traffic every 10 minutes to 5. It's going to get 5 minutes after CBS News at 12 o'clock. This is CBS News on the Hour. Your home for original reporting. I'm Peter King, live at the Kennedy Space Center where NASA and SpaceX hope to begin a new era in space flight in just over 22 minutes. Spacecraft in this test flight is part of commercial contracts from NASA. Astronauts dug early and thought the weather again is holding up, no technical problems. There are more protests right now around the nation's some violence over the killing of George Floyd. CBS's Jeff Begay is in Minneapolis. We heard states and local officials here in the Twin Cities area and in Minnesota trying to separate the agitators from the people who are peacefully protesting. And that's why you heard in their message this repeated plea for people who cared about George Floyd, who care about that issue of police community relations. Stay home tonight. Don't come out on these streets. President Trump wants Minneapolis to crack down on the protesters. They've got to get tougher. They've got to get tougher. They've got to be strong. Honor the memory of George Floyd. Did you exceed the hour? They have to get tougher. And by being tougher, they will be honoring his memory. But CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Davis this morning. There are two studies on one How you doing, man? I don't know, we paid, you know, up there, but I thought she validated. Does that work? Did validation the first hour? Did you validate Yeah, 1054. Okay, so I went over by six minutes. Yeah, the validation the first hour. Okay, so how much is for the last six minutes? $35. It was less than the six minutes, so you're You're, yeah, wait a minute, man. I got to pay 50 bucks for the extra six minutes? That's part of it, yeah. 
Well, I mean, we spent 60 bucks for food. And the thing says you only have to spend a minimum of 30. So you're saying 50 bucks? Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay, hang on, man. All right, what's your name? Pablo. Pablo? Okay, Pablo's telling me, I, you know, we went over our parking thing here by six minutes and we owe 50 bucks. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, yeah. What now? <laughs> I appreciate you coming over here and helping me, man, because I probably would have crashed through that gate. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pablo. Uh, have a you too, stay safe. Sorry, I should have my mask on, huh? I asked you if we were. Yeah, you know, but I didn't think the consequences were that radical. Well, if we went it all before we went in. Paradise Cove, Malibu, California. Closed down, just take out, delivery only, just about like everybody else, even though this weekend I thought they were lifting restrictions and you think they would be the ideal situation because they're like right on the sand there, right on the beach. Nice place. Um, but you know, under the current COVID health and safety standards, uh, they had two takeout windows, one just for booze and cocktails. You know, no places, you can't sit and drink. You can come up and get your Budweiser, I guess, and a shot of tequila and go back out to your car. Um, on the beach side, they had a takeout window. Ordered some food and got to go stick my toe in the water. It was cold. But, you know, I said it was a beautiful Saturday morning in Malibu, California. The place was crowded. Police everywhere. Back to the story. <laughs> you know, Paradise Cove, cool place. Uh, you know, it was 21 bucks for a cheeseburger, 19 bucks, tuna salad sandwich. Got, came some fries, came in a, you know, this container like this. And uh, you know, sandwich here, fries there, nice napkins. Uh, gave you some cutlery that was made out of wood. Sounds like a great idea. It's, if it happens to end up in the ocean, it'll deteriorate within a reasonable amount of time. Metal, there's plastic here. You know, because of the close proximity to the ocean, I'm not sure if that's a cool idea. But, it's a class act anyway. This justifies the money. And I understand business is down because you know they have a less traffic flow. Bob Morris, Paradise Cove Cafe, man. Uh, a lot of times you had to sit and wait, you know, to get a table there. Especially if you wanted to you know, sit on the edge. And then I had a full bar, but you know, now you gotta gotta take your drinks to go. I'm not sure if that's legal. Now right, anyway, I want to get off that. It's a negative thing. I hope this video finds you alive and well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, leave me any uh, comment, or my email address is Corona Hawkeye. Hey, y'all. Uh, love you all. Have a blessed day. So long. Yeah, you get that way, dude. <laughs> you won't be back. Hello. This is Delmer. The announcer. The moral to Hawkeye's subjective story is to read the sign. Obey. Comply. Be subservient. Just give in and do not resist. Life is easier that way. When he was young, it was question authority and think for yourself. Life was tough back then. And now they are getting used to van life. Good luck. Click the subscribe button to be notified when new episodes of Hawkeye's Tales and Trails is released. You will not believe what is going to happen next. So what is really going on? Hero, Brandon Say, said, Courage is not...
not the absence of fear, but the ability of adversity to fear. I am the hostess of Hawkeye's Tales and Trails, hard-charging pagan woman warrior queen, Caliphia. Please subscribe. Thank you, too. You are viewers. Google. Wikipedia. Catch you on down the road.